What's your name? EJ. EJ, 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 right? Watch this, Daniel 9 and 11, because he says something heavy. He said, sometimes people may have a bad day, right? But we've had a bad 400 years, and really longer than that, because our Northern Kingdom brothers been going through for about five, almost 600 years, right? right? Read this. The book of Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 11. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law. Right. All Israel, all 12 tribes, have broken the commandment statutes of God, right? Read. Even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Right. That we didn't do what our father said, right? You with me? Read what you got. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. Therefore, the curse is poured upon them, right? Read. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses. Right. What oath is written in the, the law of Moses? We're going to get there, right? Now, I want you to pay attention to something. Listen carefully. The servant of God, uh -huh. because we have sinned against him. Read. And he hath confirmed his word. And God, who told the end from the beginning, confirmed what he said. I said that these things were going to happen, and I made sure these things happened. Right? You with me? Yeah. Read what you got. Which he spake against us, uh -huh. and against our judges that judged us, Read. by bringing upon us a great evil. Read. For under the whole heaven. Under all heaven. Right? This is how we know we got to be the people of the Bible. Right? Read hath not been done as hath been done upon Jerusalem. Right. Nobody can lay claim to the atrocities that happened to you and I and our people. Mm -hmm. Nobody. That's what the Bible is saying. Read. Nobody under the entire heaven as a nation of people have gone through what you and I have gone through and continue to go to today. Right. Right. Like getting killed in the streets with a knee on your neck and nobody pays for it. See. Does anybody, does that happen to anybody else but us? See. Right, now let's see the curse that was confirmed Because remember it said, therefore he poured upon them the what? Wow. The curse, right? Let's get, that was written in the law of Moses, right? Wow. So let's get this curse that was written in the law of Moses Deuteronomy the 28th chapter, 15th verse Matter of fact, yeah, 15th verse, read Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15 wow. But it shall come to pass If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. That all these curses, that all these curses, right? Read. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now all these curses will come upon the Israelites, the people that under all heaven, nothing has happened that has happened to these people, to any race of people, right? Get 46, right? Follow me. What's, what's my man? What's your name right here, bro? I'm sorry? Fred. Fred, Fred. You know we the Israelites? Yes. All right, so you pay all praises, all praises. So you follow him, right? Read what you got. Verse 46. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. And they, meaning these curses, will be upon the Israelites for a sign, right? So I'm trying to see if I can find a sign. It's always dark in the Jake neighborhood, man. It's always dark in the Jake. That's on purpose, by the way. But what, that sign right there, right? You see that stop sign? What is that? That's a sign that you read, right? Therefore, you know to do what when you come to that sign? Right. It's right. So a sign does what? Tells you the truth. It, it, well, that's true. But it identifies something. You, you follow me? So read what you got again from the top. And they shall be upon thee. These curses will be upon the Israelites. For what? For a sign. For a sign that will help you to identify who the Israelites are to date. Read. And for a wonder, uh -huh. and upon thy seed forever. So when you see these, these signs that identify who the Israelites are, you're supposed to, hmm, I wonder who this is talking about. It sounds like it's talking about me, right? But not only that, it would also be upon your seed. This is why I have sons, right? I have children. This is why if we don't get our, our acts together, I will pass away. And yet my sons will still be going through the same things that we go through. Right. And not just my sons, but their sons, and then their sons, and then their sons. For example, what we doing today? Right, it's perpetual, right? For example, what we've been doing today? Marching, no justice, no peace, Black Lives Matter. What was happening in the 90s? What was we doing? What was we doing in the 70s? 80s, 60s? Right. These things will be upon us for a sign and upon our seed, meaning children forever, until we fix it. We are our own worst enemy, right. you and I, because we're the ones that messed up, not God. 
and not necessarily the heathen because they're here to punish us for our disobedience. We jacked up, right? right. Now, give me a curse. Give me a 37. 37. Watch this. Because like he said today, what do we call ourselves? What, niggas? Niggas. What else? Black man. Black man. Asiatic. Yeah. Original man. Uh, cuz. Mo. All these things we call each other, right? Chris, right, 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 right. What's, what's, what's your race? I'm Baptist. I'm a my, Baptist is my race. Muslim is my race. But all these things are religious, not races of people, right? Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. Uh -huh. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whither the Lord shall lead thee. Right. So when we would get scattered or when we fell from our heritage, we will be called proverbs. Like uh, these Negroes, they, they hate to work. They don't like to work hard. Or they, uh, they love to smoke weed. You know, I, I was watching something yesterday. I was watching something with, with my wife. I was watching uh, Saturday Night Live, right? And uh, they was making mockery of uh, the, the national debates, right? All of the, the candidates were, that were white, those behind jokes, they had some semblance of uh, professionalism or serious severity to them, right? The only black one, you, you heard of, uh, what's the, uh, the late sister, Camilla Harris, Kamala Harris, right? The sister, right? The only one that uh, called themselves a, excuse my language, but a bitch was Kamala Harris. And she said, y'all could have had a bad, right? The only one, the only so-called black one, they made her to, to embarrass herself or call herself out of her, uh, her name in a derogatory fashion, right? That's what they do. Read what you got again. And thou shalt become an astonishment. A bad B or a real nigga. You ever heard that before? No, no. And, and they not wrong. The, our people do act like real niggas. They write about that thing. Read. A proverb and a byword among all nations whither the Lord shall lead thee. Right. That's your black African American. Real nigga. Bad bees. Uh, uh, what's, what's, what, what, uh, uh, animals, silver ba basically, real. right. All these things that we call ourselves, we will become these things as a curse. Yep. I'm gonna show you that somewhere else. Jeremiah 17, Savage. right? Right, right. Savages, right? Everything that God did not call us is what we identify ourselves with because they identified us as these things, right? Right, I'm gonna show you somewhere else that said the same thing. Read what you got, book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and verse 4. And thou. Even thyself and you, you, your son, your daughter, your father, your mother, your entire community, your entire race of people would what? Shall discontinue. Shall what? Discontinue. Meaning stop. Meaning cease from. Right? Discontinue from what? From thine heritage. Remember what, what he was going over about? The Most High gave us a law for a what? For a heritage. heritage, we would discontinue from that heritage. That's what read. We're for. Exactly, exactly. Read what you got. From thine heritage that I gave thee. Right, because he gave us laws to govern ourselves by. Right? Like fringes. How many of our people you see wearing this? None. We've discontinued from no, our heritage. Bring it up. How many of our people, what else is uh, something of our heritage? Keeping the, uh, the Sabbath day. What day do our people go to church on? Sunday. Sunday, but our heritage is Saturday. Right. Friday sundown to Saturday sundown is our heritage that God gave me. Our people celebrate Christmas, right? Yes, sir. The Bible says that we ought to celebrate Passover. Uh, not Thanksgiving, Feast of Dedication. Not, not, right? These things are our heritage, right? So, we write dietary laws. We have plenty of things that we're supposed to do under God's law, which is our heritage. But we have discontinued from the heritage, and now as a result of this curse, we take on Christmas Thanksgiving, we take on eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, we take on no fringes, <laughs> we take on men wearing tight pants, sisters also wearing tight pants, that is really women, men wearing dresses, tattoos, and all these things that were never our custom. Right. Right. Read what you got. Verse seven, verse four. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. Right. Like we do today. Like, uh, I don't know if you was here, but that, that, uh, whatever he, the hell he is, because it doesn't even matter what he is, he's not one of us. He, right. The Bible calls him a heathen, a devil, right? He called himself chasing us off his property or whatever the case, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's because he, believe it or not, he knows what we're doing and he hates it. He hates that thing. That's why it was so important for him to, you mean to tell me 
People can stand over there and do drugs. Bring it right. out. And sell dope. Bring and prostitute. And he's okay with it. Right. As long as you are destroying yourself, he's okay with it. Right. And he don't care if you're standing there. You We've been you, out here. But will you give a positive message? Exactly. That's now we gotta problem. go and he's gonna call the police on. Real quick, I wanna deal with that. Give me uh oh, bad, bad. Psalm 105, verse 14. Bring it out. Because he did something real heavy when that happened. Showing you that we ain't worried about him. Why? Because God told us not to worry about it. Right. As long as we're doing this, and as long and as long as it's not my time to go, there is nothing he can do to me or any of these men. Though he, I'm gonna call the police. Cause he understands what that means. They gonna come out here, they gonna shoot y'all. Cause y'all black. That's that's what that means when he says that. But as long as y'all, as long if we was over there shooting dice, do whopping, and whatever the hell, we buying, cool. Buying some, uh, switches, switches. Buying some switches, sitting around a damn trash can on fire, shoe whopping and stuff, right? Be cool with that, right? But as long that's if we destroying ourselves, if we teaching and building up our communities, that is bad for business for him. Because that means we stop buying his switches sweets and liquor and dope and all these things from him and Oi. his people, right? Read what you got though. Watch this. Watch this. This is why we're not worried about him calling the police on us. Read. Psalms chapter 105, verse 14. Read. He suffered no man to do them wrong. He suffered no man to do any of his men wrong. Ever. Out. Ever. That's why we can say, all right, whatever, man. We're just going to move across the street. Call the police. That's fine. Call them. Read that again. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sake. He reproved kings for his prophet's sake. You know what kings those were? Nebuchadnezzar. Right. The, uh, the, the king of Egypt, the Pharaoh, who he killed his race of people for our sakes. He reproved kings for his children's sake. Read. Saying, saying what? This is what God says. Touch not mine anointing. What does God say about his children? Touch not mine anointing. I dare you to put your hands on them. I dare you to do something that will harm my children. Read. And do my prophets no harm. And do my prophets no harm. So when we tell you we're not worried about a damn heathen, talking about he going to call the police on us, God says, touch them if you want to. Bring it out. Touch him. God, he, God would do some retarded stuff like have a damn meteorite crash into this damn building behind his prophets. Right. You know what I'm saying? Word up. Right? You know what I'm saying? And he has done things like that. I've seen Christian churches flood, have mud all over the floor and everything because they was being wicked as hell about, about his people. Right? Didn't understand it then. But I, now I understand, yeah, the most high be, be, be jacking these people up when they go but so far. They can't go but so far. Read it again just in case and I want you meditating on this at home just in case one day these heathens try to scare you off of something that you ain't doing nothing wrong you're doing something positive but just in case they try to scare you and say they're going to call the police on you. You ain't wrong. Then meditate on this real quick. Yo, Read it I'm, one more time. Yo. When I'm not at work, they do this shit daily. Yeah. Right. Exactly. right. We came out here and you know what our people was doing? They moved around when we got out here. But you know what our people was doing out here? You, come on, you know what our people do, right? You know what they were doing? They were there and over here in bunches doing nothing good. You think he came out here and told them to move? No. Nope. He didn't. He only came out here and told us to move and had an attitude about it because we out here building up the people. And that does not help his business. That does That's not right. put his children through college. Right. Damn his children and their college. That's right. right. Read what you got. Bring it out. Right. <laughs> That's right. Read. He Read. suffered Read. no man to do them wrong. Read. Yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, uh -huh. saying, touch not mine anointing Read. and do my prophets no harm. Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how we men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.